Algebra 2, Lesson 29, is the second part about uniform motion problems, the distance rate and time. And all we have for our notes is two examples. They're much the same as before, just with a new little twist. Okay, so take a look at example one. Napoleon walked part of the 60 miles to the site of the battle and rode the rest of the way on a caisson. He walked at 3 miles per hour and rode at 9 miles per hour. If the total time of the trip was 8 hours, how long did he walk? Okay, so this is no longer about somebody like walking out and riding back where the distances are equal. There are just two parts of the trip. Okay, so he started at some point. He walked. Okay, this will be his distance walking. And then he got a ride on a caisson, and he kept going, and it said the total, this is distance riding, um, his total is 60 miles. See, he walked part of the 60 miles. The whole thing was 60. So we see that his distance walking plus his distance riding is 60. Okay, and we're still going to have our two lists. So we have distance, rate, time, walking, and distance, rate, time, riding. All right, and then we fill in what we're told here. Um, okay, he walked at three miles per hour. That's his rate. He rode at nine miles per hour. And the total time is eight hours. That means, I'll just put that over here, his time walking plus his time riding is eight. Okay, so that means his time riding would be eight minus TW. So that's what I'm going to put here. Time riding is eight minus time walking. Okay, now our main equation is based on a little diagram here. His distance walking plus his distance riding is 60. And we know distance is equal to rate times time. So rate times time walking plus rate times time riding equals 60. Okay, rate times time walking, rate riding times time riding, and then we solve this. And they want to know how long he walked. That is actually why I chose to do it this way. So this is time walking. That'll be the answer. Okay, if we had subtracted the other way around, gotten TW by itself, you would have had to do one final little step at the end. So um, let's distribute. Okay. And then I need to I'm going to combine my steps just a little bit. I'm subtracting 72 from both sides. What's remaining are like terms, and I'll add those. 3 minus 9 is negative 6 TW. And over here, we're getting negative 12. And when we divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable, we get that the time walking is 2. And then look back up here, they were talking about miles per hour, total trip was eight hours, so this is two hours. Reread the question just to make sure. How long did he walk? That's his time walking. So that's the answer to the question. We are done with that. Okay, the only new thing is we added the distances this time instead of saying they were equal. The diagram helps just make sure you're doing the right thing. I recommend using those. Okay. That should be pretty good. Okay, so for example two, 
Edward Longshanks and Queen Eleanor were 54 miles apart at dawn. Edward began the journey to the meeting place at 8 a.m. at three miles per hour. Two hours later, the Queen set out to meet him. They were going to meet in the middle. Okay, so they were 54 miles apart. Edward's here. The Queen's here. Okay, so distance of Edward. Distance of Queen. Okay. He started here. He's walking toward her. She started here. She's walking toward him. Doesn't say they're walking, but headed toward him. Um, and they started out 54 miles apart. So those two distances will equal 54. So our diagram is slightly different than the first one, but the process is identical. Okay, distance rate and time lists. Edward. Queen. Okay, so that part just told us how far apart they were. Okay, so he was going three miles per hour. And we're looking for her rate, so they're not going to tell us this. Oh, let's see. So, he began his journey at 8 a.m., and they met at 4 p.m. Okay, so 8 to noon is 4 hours, and there's 4 more hours, so his time is 8. And her time is 2 hours less than that, because she left 2 hours later. So her time is 6, and this, we should be good to go. Okay, so his distance plus her distance is 54. In my box on, for a problem set, I'm not writing this equation. This is just for you to be able to follow easily in your notes. First thing I'm writing in my box after the list, of course. Start with a diagram and then the list. Um, I'm going to go straight to rate times time plus rate times time. Three times, okay, so 24. His distance is 24. That means her distance is 30. Um, okay, so 6RQ, because the queen's rate times time, and then that total is 54. When we subtract 24, of course, we're getting 30 over there. 6 times rate of the queen is 30. Divide by the coefficient of the variable. The rate of the queen is 5. Look back at the question. How fast does she travel? We have found what they want. We just need units. And miles per hour. There we are. It is finished. I was almost totally off screen there at the end. But there we go. Have fun.